Hey, Ron. Uh, we're live. We're, it's a sale. Okay, I'll be in there in a second. Okay. All right. Hi, Mary. How are you? On this uh, holiday weekend, I should say. Belinda, we are, we are well. Hi, sweet tea. How are you, baby? I was eating some candy. Vicki Hennage, my cousin. Hello there, baby. Did you come to buy something from me? Hi, honey. Hey, uh, Vicki, I need to talk to you on the phone when you get a chance because I wanted to um, find out what's going on for your uh, the celebration in August. Hi, Lori. Uh, I'm going to. I, I'm going to do that tonight. Are you going to watch for a while, Vicky? I'm eating fudge. Okay. Hi, Maria. How are you, hon? I never get to eat before we start. Hi, Jerry. How are you, babe? I have everybody's stuff packed. I just have to send the invoices tonight. And then I really, truly will be pretty much caught up. Oh, gosh. I'm so glad, Maria. I've been aching like a toothache all day because it's uh, cold and rainy here. Damp. Damp. It. Damp. Yeah, I mean, we've had... Hundreds of days where it was hot, and of course the weekend that when everything opens up, it's like I would have had my winter coat on to take the dog out. That's good. Yeah, I know a lot of people are begging for rain. Nothing like fudge and a diet coke. So I got really sunburnt last Saturday from helping my brother. And the only thing that peeled was a little bit of my nose. I'm telling you, or a chocolate candy bar and a Coke, Diet Coke. Yum. Yeah, it's not, it's not supposed to be here, Mary. I don't know where you live, but here it's only supposed to be today, supposedly. And then it's going to be chilly tomorrow, but sunny. It doesn't matter because I don't really have a lot going on this weekend until Monday. <laughs> Monday, I got an email that Goodwill's got 50% off. So I'm going to be uh, going to the Goodwill Monday. I haven't said anything to Ron yet. It was a surprise. Surprise! Ah. <laughs> uh. As I was talking with Dee, uh, it's not like I don't have anything. It's not. It's just, I mean, you hear 50% off and you, you just have to go. New York, uh-huh, well, that explains it. So, who just said that? Maria, oh, and 100 degrees off, that sucks. <laughs> Balmy 95. That is quite... My cousin that was just talking, if she's still here, uh, 
she lives uh, just outside of Phoenix, and I am sure it is hot there. Or it had been. I don't know. It, it still is, but it had been hot. So... So since I'm not planning on doing anything tomorrow, um, uh, even if I do something, it wouldn't be till later in the day. I think I'm going to try to get all the invoices out. I what I did, I tried to do a favor to myself. Um, I don't have as many things, and I tried really hard to sell smaller items. Uh, I was going to bring it out here to show you, but. That big um, depression glass vase that I sold last week. Well, there is no such box that fits it that I could get a hold of. So I had to make a box and um, that was quite creative. And it's like fighting, uh, I don't know what, just tugging and twisting and taping and taping and taping. It was, it was very entertaining, but I got it done. Now I'm about ready to take a nap. That was, that was just, uh, I, I just finished up doing, that was my last one. I kept trying to think of what could I wrap it in? What could I put it in? And uh, that was all I could come up with. So so anyway, um, I have a couple of questions. I'll probably have to mention this more than once throughout the sale. But I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Number one, when um, I started doing my sales and... As most of us started doing our sales, it was already during the COVID pandemic. So it wasn't like we were all running around. Um, about the most we were running to do was to get things to sell. And even at that, we were very creative in getting them. So, uh, hi, Rose. So anyway, um, I was wondering, since the time of my sale is like when a lot of people are trying to eat dinner or cook dinner or whatnot, um, would you like it better if I did my sale, say, at, let's see, uh, Alex says hers at 1. If I gave her like two hours, if I started mine at 3 o'clock uh, Eastern time, would that be better if I did it at three instead of six? Because that way it wouldn't necessarily, maybe it wouldn't involve or wouldn't get into your dinner time. So that is something if you would um, put in the chat, if you want me to change it or not, I would appreciate that. Because I really don't know, you know, what to do. And um, another question I had for everybody, um, it would only probably pertain to those of you who live in the East. How many of you have um, the, lo uh, not locusts, the, uh, what are those bugs? Oh, cicadas. The, the cicadas. How many of you have been like, Swamped with the cicadas. I'm just curious because we really haven't. That's because it's on the east coast this time. Right? Yeah, I knew that she did. I mean, my sales. I my sales are. Usually on about an hour and a half. Um, because I cut down how much they sell. For Because Jeffrey starts at 6.30. He used to start at 7. Well, now he starts at 6.30. So, he's already cutting into my time. And, um, you know, it is what it is. But that way I would only... It would only be a little bit of her time that... I would be into. Why is that my live chat staying on?
Invoices are going out tonight. Mmm, how fun those cicadas are. That's true. Okay. If I change it, yeah, they probably would forget. <coughs> All right. Well, then I will leave it at this time. Okay? It sounds good. Hello, and hello to anybody. If I didn't see you, Sharon, hi. Uh, soups and such. Hello, soups and such. <laughs> That's me. I know, Ron. <laughs> oh, 98 in Florida. And it's, oh, I'm sure it is icky with the humidity there. Uh, that's a shame, Jerry. Hmm. All right. So, Ron's doing his usual munching. He thinks it's a smorgasbord whenever we're doing a sale. He's... You're munching away on his little pretzels. Excuse me. But okay. just pretzels do not make a smorgasbord. Make a smorgasbord. Hmm. All right. So let's see. It Hello, is... Gabby. How are you? Gabrielle Lish. Hello, hello. All right, well, <laughs> hi, Amy. <laughs> I love when you just pop in. It's fun. And look, that's my uh, my favorite name in the whole wide world. What? Carrie Ann. Oh, you know, uh, Amy. Hi, Pat. Uh, and hi, Carrie Ann. I haven't got in to get all these for the, I don't even know how long, and I've missed so many of the good things, but I still watch all the time to see what you got. I saw you were in uh, Ollie's. I didn't see that one yet. I've never been there, but I heard it's a really neat store. We've got one not too far from here, so I will have to do that. Maria, so, bien, bien. I don't always comment, but I do watch uh, all your stuff that you're, that you're, uh, Oh, really? Did you like, was it as good as everybody says? Is there a lot of cool, somebody told me they had, uh, we have a store out here in Indiana. It's just in Indiana called uh, Bailey's. And it's like, they have everything. They have a lot of closeouts and um, they have closeouts, even food. It's like closeouts of food. And is it really? Well, maybe I'll have to go there. Maybe I'll have to go there this weekend. Yes, that's what I heard. And that's how this Bailey store is that we have in Indiana. It's, uh, I mean, sometimes you can find the most marvelous things, and sometimes it's like, yeah. Uh, could somebody put in my email? Because uh, Ninja Writers. Oh, they have 15% off coupons, really? I'll have to look for that. Ninja Writers, you're new to me, so hello. And uh, if you decide you want to buy something, could you please um, go to my uh, mm -hmm. my channel and uh, my email is on my channel on the about section. But um, if somebody could put my email in, since I'm not able to. Um, then you could just email me your information, your, um, Shanta. Okay. Is that how you say it? Shanta? Yeah. So go ahead and register. Cause I, I knew that I hadn't recognized your I name. I just put your thing in. And Ron said he just put it in. Did everybody see it? Jackie DeMass at AOL.com. I see it. Thank you, Katie. Hey, remember guys, thumbs up. 
Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I guess we could get started. Since it's a uh, quarter after, almost 15 after 5. And uh, I keep forgetting there's like a little tiny clock in the corner here. So I can yep. see what time it is. So, um, Katie has three thumbs up. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, so, oh, it is Shanta. Well, good. I'm, I'm better at pronouncing than I thought I was. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, uh, I kind of moved over this way because I have my table over here and it's a little bit closer. Yes, Ron. Now here's Jackie. <laughs> ha. Hello, D. I will talk to you later. I did get my box. I love it so much. You can see one of them items in the back. And uh, Bandit loved it. He kept trying to paw on it and play with it. So anyway, um, hello, D. I was going to start since I know Jeffrey will be starting in just a moment. It seems like I should talk to him and tell him he shouldn't be cutting in on my time. Anyway, well, you know, time is on our side. Time is on our side. Not really. Not when you're my age. So what I have here is these beautiful, le they're made of leather, and they look like little feathers. Very, as, um, oh, thank you, Bargain Beauty. Um, she shared my video. If uh, you, um, I, I'm losing my, my mind, too. Um, these are so cool because, like I said, they're leather. If Michelle from Cozy Comfy Living were here, she'd say they were very boho, which I suppose they are. Very boho. Anyway, they are uh, $5, and they are number 21. $5, number 21 for the beautiful boho leather uh, earrings. Hi, Chicago lady. How's it going, hon? Genie girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number 21, Ron. Uh, mm-hmm. And I got Maria for that. Thank you, Maria. Hey, mm -hmm. Dean, my cousin was here. I don't know if she still is, but she was here from Arizona in, in the chat. Okay, I got Maria for that. Thank you, honey. I thought those were super cool. Um, if I hadn't let my ears kind of grow shut here, which I now I have to mess around with them again, I would have probably kept them. But I did. Okay. I still have holes in my head. And as I said... Um, I'm trying to keep my amount of sales, stuff I'm selling down because of the fact that I really only have about an hour to, uh, you subscribe to, subscribe to Ron, that's cool. You're here with me till the end, unless you fall asleep. <laughs> hey, I have, trust me, I have no uh, problem with that. Robin Summers, I believe, I don't know if I know you. Um, it's happened to me, so. Actually, I fall asleep when I'm watching people's, um. Hi, Josie. Um, I, I'll be watching the hauls on my, on my TV, and I'll fall asleep. What's up, Robin? Hi, Dolores Cowie. Okay. My, Dolores Cowie, my friend who collects Black Americana, like I do. Well, she, I heard, has a fabulous collection. So anyway, my next oh, the dog's gone cuckoo. My next item is this adorable little kitty. Um, it's a uh, sachet pomander. It's still got the uh, smells good too. And it it is from Avon, and it is from 1983. And uh, there's no chips or anything like that. Somebody was at the door. 
And it is uh, $5 number 13. $5 number 13. I know I do too, but I, I hardly ever catch them because it's too late. Maybe if I napped all day, I could. Rose Spangenberg. Rose, you ought to see I wrapped that big old vase for you today. All the invoices will go out tonight. Uh, and it was quite a labor of love. <laughs> a labor of love. Thank you, Rose. Okay, moving along. Who was that? A pizza girl. Did you order pizza? No, but I took it. Who did order it? No. Well, why didn't you tell her it wasn't ours? Well, I was hungry. Ronald. What? Did you order it? No. She told you to keep it? No. I just signed for it. Yeah. Okay. And this is why I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I am. You just made pizza, Mary? I should come to your house. That's what I'm saying, guys. That is what I'm saying. Oh, glory, gosh. Where to go from here? I'm going to go here. Alrighty. I'm going to do a bunch of little things for at first. Alright, I have this really uh, nice, it was made in Taiwan, stamped in it, um, trivet. And it is from Mackinac City, uh, Ma Michigan, Mackinac Bridge. It has Fort Mackinac. It's Mackinac Island. Um, very popular place in Michigan. Uh, this is like Misty's place she's in love with and would love to live there. But it's a nice little trivet. And yeah. it's not cracked or anything. It's in perfect shape. And it is $5 and number 16. $5 number 16. I've always wanted, my mom and dad went there. I've always wanted to go there. Maria. I got you, girl. Well, if you win the lottery, we will go together. <laughs> what? Where is it from, the pizza? Um... What did it say? Um, beggars. Mm. Okay. Gee, I have a lot of inexpensive items tonight. All right, I have this very pretty, um, vase it says new holland floral 1997 and it's this beautiful vase that is has uh tulips all the way around it and um i didn't find anything wrong with it I, that i can remember it's been a while since i really checked it out but no nope, it seems to be in perfect shape and, um, oh, I knew somebody lived in Katy, Texas. Somebody else. Um, this is $5 and it's number 11. So pretty. You, you could put it on your porch. With some fake flowers in it. Very beautiful, guys. Or you could put it, uh, I mean, it's just nice spring, summer. The vase itself, is that pink? It's pink. Come on, live chat. Yeah, mine too. It is my happy place. So anyway, it is uh, five dollars number eleven. Uh, 
Okay. Alrighty, this is one of the things I got from the uh, estate sale. I'm not sure why you can hang it. I guess you could use it as an ornament. I don't know. But it is a... Um, uh-huh. Paper mache. It's a paper mache um, sheep. And it's got little stick legs that they've painted black. Um... But uh, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's got a little bit of where the paint wasn't covered good on the ear. But you could touch that up with yourself. It's no big deal. It's not where it came off. It just it didn't paint it good. Anyway, this adorable little um, very primitive sheep is $10 and it's number four. $10 number four. Okay. Should it have been a five dollar sale tonight? Looks like everything I'm showing is five dollars. All right. The next thing I have is an Avon candle holder, a clear candle holder. It's a uh, dove, and it says Avon on the bottom, and it will hold this size of a candle in it if you want to use a real candle. It is $5, and it is number seven. There's nothing wrong with it, no chips or cracks. It's in really good shape. Hi, Jane. How are you, sweetie? All right, I have this beautiful blue encased vase. It is white on the inside. And then it is this beautiful light blue on the outside. And there's no chips or cracks. It's a perfect shape. And uh, it's amazing how they do that. And it is um, Tracy Morgan. Hi. Is $15. Number one. $15. Number one. It's cool. Me too, Jane. I fell, or me too, Jerry. I fell asleep the other night watching her. Okay. Okie dokie. I have a plasterware um, silhouette plaque. I'm not even going to pull it off. Uh. Thank you, Katie. Uh, Maria started it, and uh, Dee has added to it. I bought a couple of things, but uh, yes, it's. Uh, let me see if I can show you like that. 
it's uh turned out real cute it's growing all the time d just sent me a huge the one in the back it's a bank i have to do a little uh, thank you well i'm gonna do it when i'm doing a um uh haul i'm going to thank some people dolores says she loves your curtains oh thank you dolores uh, I love them too. I, uh, when I saw them, when we moved, when we were getting curtains from when we moved in here, um, we were at Big Lots and I saw one and I thought, oh gosh, I because I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six windows here. So I was scared I wouldn't find enough and I had just enough for the windows, but not enough for the, uh, window over the sink. So I'd have just a white valance with blue embroidery on it over the sink. So anyway, I have this, um, like a silhouette, uh, plaster plaque. It's in beautiful shape. There's no chips out of it at all. Um, I don't know who painted it, but, uh, very cool. They did a beautiful job. They did a nice job. And it, it was Debbie of, in 1974. Anyway, it is seven dollars and it's number ten. Seven dollars, number ten. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I just love plaster stuff, and this this was really a nice little. You know, she did a nice job. Yeah, she's real meticulous. Whoever did it. Yeah, I guarantee you, mine wouldn't be that. Wouldn't be that. Uh, nice. Oh no, that neat. I'd have been the kind of just sprays this one color. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's see here. Well, it is almost June, and Father's Day is coming up, and so I have this really cute... Grandpa, you're the great, you're a special, um, like a statue or figurine. It's made of resin. I guess you'd call it resin. Hi, Julie. All right, sweetheart. Anyway, um, this is, was made in 1973. It's one of the W and R Berries Company, um, figurines. And, um, he is bald, almost, but got a bald head in the back. He just never really did much with it. Maybe he will someday when he gets done with his schooling. Thanks, Katie. Anyway, this sweet grandpa, he looks so sweet, is $10 and it is number 20. These things are, well, I mean, they're pretty old, but... I was shocked at the resale value of these. They're quite valuable. But I just think he's sweet as a grandpa. She's really talking about me. Oh, Maria, thank you. I bet you wish you could have some pizza, too. I do, too, but, you know. You want pizza? No, I'm not going to eat pop. So, okay, we'll put the grandpa back. Yes. Yes, he is definitely, uh, and it's got a felt bottom, so it won't. I remember when, you know, when these were very, very, very popular. I'm embarrassed to say I remember it. Let's see, in 1973, I was, I was a mere 23 years old. Yay! It was a wonderful time. I didn't even have any kids yet. <laughs> It was still a wonderful time. Yes, it was. Okay. Um, the one thing I forgot to bring in here is in there. I'll have to go get it. Okay, for my next item, I have <coughs> this me, me, me. beautiful um, I guess I tore it off. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, Jerry. I don't know. 
I probably never will know. Anyway, I have these beautiful dolphins frolicking in the water. I love it because it was, uh, you were born in 1973. My daughter was born in 74, my oldest. Huh. Anyway, this is, I, what I love about it is it's, you know, the blue is like throughout and then it's like partly, um, um, it's, is it thin or thick crust, Ron? Thin. Thin, extra cheese? No. Thin crust, no extra cheese. And I, I like it because it has a uh, satin finish on it in parts, which gives it like more dimension and stuff. Anyway, this is $12, and it is number 24. There's no cracks or chips, um, nothing like that. Pineapple and barbecue sauce? I've never had that. The boss that I used to work for, he used to always get pineapple on his. Um, my favorite is extra sauce. That's what this is. All in the Attic Treasures. Number 24, Ron. Okay, got it. Thank you, honey. Uh, I'm going to say that Ron ordered this pizza because it's got extra sauce on it. And I always want extra sauce, so. I'm going to guess he ordered it. He's just being a shit, a shyster. Yes, I love mushrooms, black olives, onion, and sometimes green pepper, too. That's what this is. Uh, that's, that's what he... What he Isn't that amazing how somebody ordered the same things we like? It is amazing, Ron. It is so amazing. All righty. No, he did not get wings, but we, we did go to get, we went to Buffalo Wings on Mother's Day. And um, we ordered the ones without the bone. I tell you, I'd much rather have the bone in them. Uh, we like OD'd on them. I could, by that night I was like, Ugh. But, yeah, we hadn't had any in a long, long time. So, I have this little trivet. I liked, I love chicken with pizza. I just, in general, uh, this one place, these so sites. Hi, uh, Dana. Anyway, it's this little um, trivet, and uh, it's made by the Liar Company, L Y R E. And I don't know if this, it says 9 25. I don't know if that's the, the number for it or what. Um,. It's got a lot of different things on it. It says H. Burns, and it's got some other figure. But anyway, it is kind of a miniature one. It is $7, and it's number 9. $7, number 9. Oh, it's Liar, because it looks like a liar. That's what it is. Duh. But, but it's by H. Burns. Sure, it wasn't made by George Burns? I'm not sure. I'm sure, Ron. I'm sure. All righty. Now. Hello, Grace. Let's see here. Well. I'll tell you what. Uh, I think we'll do it our first offer up. Um, I bought this when I was in, um, when we went on our vacation to Brown County before we got our, um, that sounds good too. Yeah, my cousin, that's what my cousin likes. I mean, my cousin, my uh, granddaughter. I got cousin on the brain because I saw she was here. Anyway, this is very old. It's made by um, Northwood and... Uh, it has a grape and basket weave like planter um, pattern. Um, it is custard glass, so it does glow. And uh, yeah, oh, it does look like. See it? See it better that way. Yep. Yeah. 
It's a beautiful piece. <clears throat> it is a very beautiful piece. And I am going to start it at $12. And for you, on December 25. Okay. So if you're interested... It is $12. It is starting at $12. $12. It glows. It glows. It glows. It's alive. It's a Northwood Spooner? Yes, it is a Northwood Spooner. Okay, Carrie Ann. Yes, it is a uh, spooner. You know, they used to put their spoons in these. Why, well, I don't know. Carrie Ann, uh, if uh, you're trying to get this, it is 25, not 12. Yeah. Oh, stop. So I got two. I got Carrie Ann and I've got Jane for at $12. <clears throat> Just so, kidding, guys. So, Jane, you'd have to up the ante if you want. Carrie Ann's at 15. Carrie Ann. Hey, Carrie Ann. I don't know when this stuff was, you know, I don't know when it was popular, but I'd say it was probably doggone. I got it's twenty got it for 20. Jane. Doggone it! I would say the either the early, probably the early nineteen hundreds, is my guess. And by the way, there is no. Um, hey, Jen. There is no cracks or chips or anything. And Jane, if no one else, is anyone else interested in this? Hi, Jen Weeks. Here he ends up. So weird. Okay, if there's no one else interested, then Jane, it is yours. I will do a countdown just in case somebody flips in at the last second. Okay, ready? Ron's going to count. Three, two, one. Hello, it's Dog on Heavy Vintage. Or, yep. <clears throat> thank you, uh, thank you, Jane. Uh, hi, Debbie, Deb Clark. <coughs> what is G one and G two, Maria? Uh, Doug, on, is that my Pennsylvania girlfriend? That is her. Okay. Hi, Pennsylvania Maria girlfriend. Maria is your California girlfriend. You yes. Have, you have them in every state. Oh, yeah. You know, you know why? Thank you, Jane. Because I'm a traveling man. Okay, I don't know why she, Maria, why are you saying G1 and G2? I'm not sure. I'm lost, but that's nothing unusual. Okay. Isn't he though? I tell you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Yeah, he's quite the ladies' man. Even though he says he's not, he was describing to me um my Indiana boyfriend. He was describing <laughs> to me uh, what he looked like in high school because he's five years younger than me, so I look like an ogre. You know, in five years, there's uh, there was a lot of difference in what was in style, and he's telling me what he, how he dressed and everything. And I said, I said, well, you would have never looked at me if you were like that because I, he was very, you know, outgoing and stuff, and I was so quiet that it was it was painful how quiet it was. And you know what I told her, guys? I said... Really, Lori? Where are you at? From Indiana. Where's she from? Uh, I, I don't know. She hasn't told me yet. That's right. He's your... You're Maria's boyfriend because you speak Spanish. Whenever I see Lori Potter, I have a niece named Amy Potter. Uh, tell her uh, me more. You tell her. She can hear you. She, you heard me. That's my love. Okay. Lori, where are you from in Indiana? 
Okay, the next thing I have, Franklin, 15 minutes south of Indy. Oh, okay, I know where that is. Um, this next item is absolutely stunning. It is a little, uh, well, I would say it's a wall hanging or something. I wouldn't put anything on it. It is made of cloth, and the front is tea bag papers. Tea bag paper, and it's all hand painted. It, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's done very nicely. It's all done by hand. Um, I left this on the back that tells about it. It was it says painted cloth and tea bag paper. Whitley County Extension Homemaker Association, 2012, and it has the name of the person and then it says evening bells anyway i just think this is so 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 beautiful and it is fifteen dollars number seventeen fifteen dollars number seventeen oh i don't think you were i didn't think you were um, I don't know if I owned this, I would probably figure out a way to, you know, put a little hanger on it and hang it like a little wall hanging because it's just too pretty to do anything else with it. It's just so pretty. Okay. Okay, for my next item, I have, um, it came in this box, this is Genuine Cloisonne, and it is bangle bracelets and rings. There are only five rings and seven bracelets, and they look like this. I think they're so pretty. They are $10, number 22. $10, number 22. Lori Potter. Lori, I don't know if you've not bought from me before, could you please uh, register? I'd appreciate it. Give me your uh, home address and everything and your... PayPal address? Uh, no, I don't have a shot glass collection. All right, honey, thank you. Thank you, Lori. Um, I don't have a shot glass collection, but um, I have a few shot glasses, but I don't have a collection. Yes, thank you so much. I bought this years ago. It's probably worth more than... I've had it for years. I bought it. I didn't even know what I was going to do with it. I just liked it, and I thought it was cool. Okay, so let's see. We got us a swan. What is a sale of Jackie's without a swan, right? Although I usually always have salt and pepper shakers, but I do not tonight. I spared you guys. I did not. I did no salt and pepper shakers. Sometime I'm going to have a sale and it's going to be all salt and pepper shakers. I have this very, very pretty swan. I love the pastel colors of this. I think it's just so pretty. I really love pastel colors. And it is um, not marked, but it is in beautiful shape. There's nothing wrong with it that I could find. I don't see any cracks or chips. or uh, There's really no crazing on it either. I don't know. But it is, this, it's a little planter. And it is $10, and it's number six. $10, number six, for the little swan planter. The eyes look like, almost make it look like it's sleeping. Yes, it's a sleeping swan. The proverbial schlepping sh song. It, it's a, a swan that is watching somebody sail that's late, or it's 
a swan like me that falls asleep during hauls. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. If you get a chance, put in the chat what kind of things you're looking for. Because I feel like the last couple of weeks I'm kind of off. I do have a thimble collection. That I do have. Hey, Shy Girl. It started out with just a few that were my mother's, and then I've added to it. In fact, in fact, while I'm here, I'll just show you this because I can grab it real quick and it's. Oh, don't do it. Uh, um, I believe it was at uh, uh, a sale that Trish had of San, San Leonardo. And I got in the mail a surprise gift from uh, her that um, Cross Stitch Magazines, Colored Matt McCoy Pottery, Advertising Rusty Krusty. Advertising, that kind of stuff should be coming up very soon. Um, I got four beautiful thimbles sent to me from uh, um, Rose, Rose Spangenberg. And one of them is this one. And I'll twist my finger. A Christmas one. They're so sweet. And then this one is a very pretty rose one that was hand painted with the name Pearl on it. And then this one has Hello, a, Cheryl. Uh, my favorite uh, blue and white stuff. Oh. And and a little cardinal, which is a state bird of Indiana. And I was shocked. First of all, it took me forever to figure out why I was getting a package from. Trish, because I knew I hadn't ordered anything. And the card inside told me how I got it. So. Oh, uh, what was the number of the swan? The swan is. Yeah, wait till I twist back. Oh, oh, I heard my back crack. That is number six. Oh, pastel swan planter. Yeah. Oh, okay, Cheryl, Cheryl, Mag Cheryl, Cheryl wants it. Cheryl Megson. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay. Well, while I'm showing stuff, what the heck. So then I got this gorgeous box of stuff today from my sweet friend. Uh, oh, you're Adi. welcome. Oh. I got a head planter, which about made me flip out of my mind. I uh, I mean, my mouth was like hanging open going, oh my God. I couldn't believe she sent me a head planter. It's really cool. Hello, Deb. Uh, and I get stuff, all the, I get stuff from, uh, there's other people I get stuff from too. Uh. Jerry, do you speak French? Enchanté, mon ami. And the other thing I got was this cool bank, which uh, Banda kept trying to paw and play with. He thought it was, he didn't know what it was. I wish it would have bit him. It would have served him right. I feel kind of hunched over today. And so both of you, you're oh, both we? here. So, 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 I thank you so, so much. Uh, I absolutely love <laughs> when people are so kind to me. I, it's It just blows my mind. You know, when LeBron's beating on me all the time, to get beautiful gifts from other people makes me feel so special. Yes, you can come with you, buy or not. Mama's Treasures, Hello. Hello, Rose. There's lots of sales I go to, and there's just that on that particular day, there's nothing I can see that I can use. You're very welcome, D. It, uh, uh, I'm sure you knew it was going to blow me away. 
Yes, it did. It did. You succeeded. Do you know they're making reproduction? Um, oh, thank you, Cheryl. I think you guys are special. You don't even know how special you guys are. They are making reproduction or new head vases. Because I saw them on eBay and I said, I didn't know that. I did not know that. All right, well, it is summertime, and it is time to summertime, summertime, summertime. have parties outside. Yes. And I have this really cool set. This looks kind of dirty, but anyway, a set of um, cordial glasses. And they're, each one is a different color. There's green, looks like peach, and there's an amber one, a purple one, a blue one, and a uh, like a turquoise one. Is that, are they cordial? Are they really doing a Roseville reproductions? I didn't know that. I think those are for uh, Crown Royal. You're special too in the yellow busway. <laughs> or the short busway. <laughs> oh, you guys cracked me up. Anyway, these are brand new in the box. They've never been used. Uh, that one happened to be unwrapped, but the rest of them haven't even been unwrapped. So... Like, here's the amber one. So, you know, um, they're for cordials, but probably would be a cute little, uh, look like they're hand-blown. No. There's all kind of little bubbles and stuff. I, I don't think I was special in the beginning, but after years of being married to uh, Jackie, I'm definitely special. He hasn't been married that, to me that many years, so. It seems like forever. Oh, shush. Anyway, um, I just think these are so cool because you, cool you could... Uh, I think they'd be a good shot glass, too. Is that for uh, iced tea? I would put tequila in them if it was me. So, this here box of cordials by Chateau Orleans is $12, and it is number 18. $12, number 18. $12, number 18. For the little cordials. For the tumblers. And you could... You could keep them and give them as a um, Christmas present yeah. or something. You could give them. Uh, we've been married only like five and a half years. But wow. Uh, yep. Yeah. Now, if nobody buys these, when I go to visit D, I'm going to bring them with me and her and I will try them out. Because, after all, what is a trip without some libations? Oh, that's a big word. Okay. Now. Oh, he is. He oh, is. hey, D. He is, D. You are so right. D. He doesn't realize it. <laughs> You know what? You can't see, can't hardly see one lump for another because I'm just one big lump. Well, that's true. All right, guys. Bye, Lori. Bye, um, Lori. I have this, um, yeah, I'm not going to tear it off. Hi, Debbie Shaw. I have this really adorable, um, me trinket box. With the little, um, I'm going to say they're lovebirds. They're doves. I said doves, but I hate to say. They're turtle doves. I hate to say lovebirds because if anybody remembers in the movie, The Birds, she buys lovebirds and they're in a little, in their, in a little cage and they thought that's what caused the whole shebang. So I don't want to call them lovebirds, but they do look like little lovebirds. Well, lovebirds. Love birds. Da, 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 and I don't da, think there da, was anything da, marked on the bottom. I'm almost positive there was nothing. Love birds. No uh, company name, right? Oh yeah, there is. It's just a inventory number of E thirty one hundred. So they're probably made in Japan. Yep, it's got. And uh, they. This is nine dollars, number fourteen. Uh, yes, you can have it 
for twelve dollars. Yes. Okay. Where are we where are we at with that? Oh, she wanted it for twelve dollars. Yep. Let's see. Uh, what number? Pipe down, puppy. Oh, eat a booger. What's wood spooner? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's number seventeen. Twelve dollars, Ron. Okay. Uh, okay. Back all, to this. Was there any? The attic? Yes. Was there anybody that wanted the uh, lovebirds? Is there anybody that wants to recreate the Hitchcock movie? Nobody wants to recreate the Hitchcock movie. What is wrong with you people? What in the world? What in the world? Okay. Well, you guys gave me a good challenge. I'm going to be looking for all these things now. Maybe, just maybe, I'll find some of these things when I go to the uh, Goodwill Monday. Okay. I had a lot of birds because it's summertime. So this is a white... Oh, your big brother called... This is a very pretty white bird... Oh, I look pretty just sitting on a shelf. I got them just sitting amongst other little things, books and things. And this is $6, number 23. $6, number 23. Very cool. No hits, no runs, no errors, no chips. And no chips. No chips or chirps. And it doesn't lay eggs. Lynn Dowdy. Hi, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn Dowdy. Okay. Okay, I have this here, Little. Dolphin. I'm into dolphins today, too. Birds and dolphins. Little dolphin planter. And I believe somebody told me that you could put uh that they put um bamboo in these i don't know but that's what i said that's what somebody told me so i have this little dolphin planter for eight dollars no cracks or chips or anything and it is number 15 eight dollars number 15 for the cute little dolphin planter Do you know what song? A dolphin song? <laughs> I do. He does sing well. It's depressing how well he sings. I did it on porpoise, and a porpoise did it on me. We'll sing together. Hey. We'll sing together in the car, and, you know, I'm like, uh, I mean, I can carry a tune, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't have the quality that he has. Okay, nobody, oh, can he sing Flipper? Nobody wants the uh, Flipper Oh, planter. absolutely, Deb. Everyone knows it's Flipper. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back because the next thing I'm going to sell, I'll demonstrate. Oh, the summertime song. You mean summertime and the living is easy, fish are jumping, and then cotton is high. That song? Never heard of it. We had to always learn that song in school because that was one of the songs they always used for um, contests. Ah. Oh. They called him Flipper, Flipper, Looks like you got a world of wonder, That's a lot of cheese flying up under, under the sea. No, I never heard of that one. It's time right cruddy out today. All right. I don't know the number of this. You're going to have to look for it. You're going to have to stop eating for a minute. All right. This, it is so cold in here. I'm freezing my butt off. Hi, Christina Taylor. How are you, honey? This is a lap quilt. 
It's what you would, you know, use to cover up, put your, cover your legs when you're sitting in a chair or something. And it is all handmade. This, I came from that estate sale. I haven't done my haul yet, but I wanted to sell this because it looks very uh, summery with the red, white, blue stuff. And it's all hand done. And then on the back side, they, come, wow. it's a, like a, what do you call it? Fleece? Like a fleece. A and flannel it, fleece. So it'd be nice and warm. I'm also wearing t D shirt today. How you doing? How you yeah, doing? You doing? <sighs> How you doing? I'm cold. But it's a great one for your lap. Oh, it's nice. And it is $15, but I don't know the number. I forgot to put the number on it. Number 19. Number 19. $15. $15. Number 19 for the lap quilt. Hey, how you doing? And... I mean, even if you didn't use it, you could just put it on the back of your couch or something for color for this, you know, time of the year. All right. No takers on this, huh? I'm surprised because it's very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, no rough edges on it or anything. <laughs> no rough edges. If I was doing it, it would be. It's straight sewed, too. Uh, it's not all crookedy like if I sew, uh, sewed it. Okay. So. I think I got everything over here. I have a little bell. It is... For the month of June, it is a UNESCO, and it is um, Precious Moments. They don't very often, really, I will do that, we'll do that. Um, They don't often make stuff for boys, figurines or anything, but this is a little boy on this. And it is for June. And there's nothing wrong with it. Everything's still has its sticker, Nesco Japan. And uh, it's such a sweet little thing. God's masterpiece, a summer's day. June is a portrait of his face. The willows bow, the um, elm trees sway, and lift their arms to him in praise. It's a very sweet bell. Very pretty. And it is $5, number 26. $5, number 26 for the Precious Moments Bell for June. Again, all the edges are sewn really well. We're on a bell now, Ron. I know. Okay. Thank you, BB. Yes, thank you for doing that for me. All right, my next item is this beautiful um, art glass bowl. And it's in perfect shape, nothing wrong with it. Little tape residue. Oh, hi, Sue. That's okay. Hello, Sue. It, it happens to all of us. Somehow I miss the thing. You know, I miss the... Uh, one day it was dinging for me, and I didn't know what it was. So, because I'm a dingling. Anyway, this is a really pretty little bowl. It could be, you know, used for uh, candy or... M&M's. M&M's, cashews, all kinds of stuff. It's in beautiful Oops. shape. 
I liked it because I thought with it being um those well, almost look like a red stripe. Oh, okay, there. Maria. Um I thought it'd be real pretty, you know, for this time of year you could put maybe some blue uh like those rocks in it or something. Those that look like marbles or something. I, I just thought it was real pretty. You could put those in it in a candle. <laughs> anyway, this bowl is eight dollars not eight dollars. It is twenty dollars number eight. Twenty dollars number eight. I love, what I like about that is uh, beautiful red swirls through it. Yeah, that's why I picked it, because I thought it'd be neat for this time of year. Red swirls. Okay, I have this cute little Fenton um Compote. It does not. It is not marked Fenton. This one doesn't have the mark on it. But it's very pretty. I love the little thingy here. Um, there's no cracks or anything. No chips. It's in perfect shape. This would be pretty with candies in it too. You could, you know, you could actually put a candle in something like this. I saw. Well, I've done it myself, but you can put a candle in something like this. It would look pretty. Anyway, it is $12, number 12. $12, number 12. You could probably drink out of it, too. Carrie Ann. Thank you, Carrie. I will have more uh, more um, Fenton milk glass to come in and new sales because um, I got some from my brother. Um, in fact, I need to go and get two more boxes of glass where he had a lot of stuff. So, all right. Thank you so much, Carrie. You got that right, man? Yep. Okay. Um... I have this <laughs> green decanter, and it looks like this on top. It seals good, real good. I I do too. I love milk glass, and um, you either love it or you don't love it. But I do love it, so. This here little decanter is made in Taiwan. Uh-huh. It's twelve dollars. Yeah, just on the bottom it just says made in Taiwan. And it is twelve dollars number two. Twelve dollars number two. I'm not sure what this thing is on the front. I think it is a I don't know. I just have never been able to figure out what it is. Oh, an, like an eagle head. An eagle head. That's what it is. Kind of a blurry eagle head. Okay. And I believe I have one thing left, and that is my last offer up. Um, I do not remember without looking, who had asked me about this item. But uh, I had already planned on doing an offer up on it, so I I meant to get back with you and let you know that, but I forgot. It's been a busy week since I helped my brother. It's been crazy. So I will uh, do this offer up. It is for this beautiful um, vase with the looks like uh, parrots on it. This is Tierra glass and uh, 
I don't know. It's about nine or ten inches tall, I would say. And it's a beautiful, like a uh, aqua color. And there are no chips or cracks or anything. It's in perfect shape. And I am going to start this at $12. So if you're interested in this Tierra base, um, enter your bids now. Okay, I have Cheryl Megason at 12. You have to watch, honey, because the uh, chat disappears for me. I've got... I, I got it. I saw Cheryl Megason at 12. Cheryl, we got you at 12. There any more bids? Okay. We're going to call it. Going once. Going twice. You don't just say, I have any more bids and then call it right away. Well, come on. Well, give them a second. People I'm trying to give it to Cheryl. Those The chat is slow. Well, she might have been the one that asked me about it, in fact. I don't know. If there's no one else interested... Hello there, Aaron. What's up, buddy? What you doing? Um, anyway, if there are no more bids, no one else is interested, then we will have Ron do the countdown. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Cheryl. Way to go, Cheryl. Well, good for you, sweetie. Then you got it. I thought it was you, but I wasn't positive, and I didn't want to say it was and when it wasn't. Well, good. I'm so glad you got it. You got your vase. And now I can make a creative box for this one, too. I don't think it'll be as hard, though. I got it down pat now how to do it. All right, guys. Is there anyone that would like me to show something that... I had showed earlier in the sale that you might be interested in. Is there anyone that came late? I'm glad you got it, honey. I'm so glad. It looked nice with your uh, milk glass. Would you like to see anything that did did not sell? Mm, okay. Okay, Mama's treasures. Um, I have this adorable little paper mache sheep and uh i th i personally think he's really cool i don't know he looks very rustic and um i had i was asking 10 but i would i would take eight and i would be happy with it if anyone wants it for eight dollars it is number Mm -hmm. Number four. Number four. Suspizio. Suspizio. This is something easy to pack. Okay. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, let's see what else. Um. This didn't sell. Okay, I had this encased blue vase. And it is... Um, I just noticed it's got this really pretty little thing going around the edge of it here. It is white on the inside and it's like light blue on the outside. And it was... It's number one and it's $15. Carrie Ann, number one. Thank you, Carrie. Okay, uh, I'm trying to think what 
else. I know that's so old. Uh. All right, I had this um, plaster, like a silhouette plaque, and um, I was asking seven dollars. I could go six. Number ten. Sue. Thanks, Sue. I think it's really cool. Reminds me of when I was in high school. Um, I had this, uh, I don't think this sold. I don't know what sold, so, but I'm pretty sure this didn't sell. What's, what's that? Oh, the candle? Oh. Uh. Um, I have this Avon, it is stamped Avon on the bottom. Uh, like a dove or a bird candle holder. It'll hold a candle. I didn't have a really colorful one, but it'll hold, you know, like a that size of candle. Yeah. And it's five dollars, number seven. Five dollars, number seven. Okay. And on the bird note, I have this lovebird trinket dish. Maria. Maria got number seven. Maria. The trinket dish with the little lovebirds. Sweet little things. Maria. Take a letter, Maria. And this is $9, number 14. $9, number 14. Nothing wrong with it. I believe it's bisque, but I believe it was made in Japan. Number seven. Um. Dolphin. Yeah, it didn't sell, did it? Uh, which one is that? Uh, what number is that one? Uh, twenty-four. Uh oh. Yes, all in the attic. Never mind. Oh, uh, did anybody buy this Mac and Neck Island trivet? Number. Sixteen. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Maria. Oh. Well, where have I been all this time? Don't know. Nobody bought the little uh, little one that was number nine, did they? Number nine. Uh, no. Pulling all the paint off of it with this tape. Okay, I have this little uh, trivet. It's it's older. I don't know what year it was made, but it's older, and it's seven dollars. But, um, did anyone buy the swan? Number? Six. Cheryl Megason. Oh. Was that a planner? Yes. Cheryl Megason. Okay. Did anybody buy the little white bird, that, or the white bird, number 23? I think somebody did. Let me see. Lynn Dowdy. Well, why don't you tell me what didn't sell? Okay. Uh, well, you just mentioned one. The, the did anybody buy this box of Kleenex? Okay, Maria, I sure will, honey. She'll be thrilled. I'm, I know she will be. Anybody buy this box of Kleenex? Okay, wait a second. Uh, send a trivet. Send a trivet to Misty. Which trivet? The uh, Mackinac Island one, number 10. Number 10. And that's from Maria. Keep the candle. Oh. Well, oh. that's not number 10. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. Hold on a minute. What? Okay. Maria wants number 7. Did you get that? For $5. Uh, Maria, we got her uh, Dove Candle Holder. Okay. Okay. For five. And number 16. Number 
uh, Maria. You got that for five dollars. Uh huh. And that's to go to Misty. I'm gonna put arrow to Misty. All right. Okay. Um. Hmm. Thank you, Maria. All right. What else didn't sell? Uh, the Avon Kitty Palm Ender. That did. That sold like right away. Well. All right, who bought the who bought this? Cause Ron didn't write it down. Probably was when he was getting the pizza. I know somebody bought it because I remember it. Number thirteen, the Kitty Pomander. For five dollars. For five dollars. Rose Bangenberg, thank you, Rose. You know what? You can't get good help. You cannot get good help these days. Hey. The man goes for off for a pizza and he forgets what he's doing. What am I gonna do with him? I don't know. Uh, uh Dolphin Planner. Okay. Uh, I am surprised this is not sold. I think this is so pretty. The tulip vase. The little tulip vase. For five dollars. Hi Nathan. Beautiful. I'm, do I'm doing good, Nathan. How are you? Hey, Nathan, how you doing? Here, Nathan, here's my shirt. How you doing? Debbie Shaw, last name C. Not sure what that means. Nope. Oh, for the vase is $5. got some imperfections you know from the mold or something the mold. but it's not uh it's not messed up it's not okay it's just imperfections you tried selling the, uh, the okay jerry said she would take the vase number 11. okay jerry ellsworth jerry ellsworth yes gotcha jerry Yep, I got my shirt from D. Ron has one too, but he didn't wear his today. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Oh uh, yeah, I believe you. Uh, you tried to sell the uh how about the dolphin planner? That didn't sell. Okay, the dolphin planter is still available. And it is number 15, $8. The quilt didn't sell, but Maria said that she would take it mm -hmm. and she for, for me to send it at the end of the month. So it did sell. It did, but it didn't. Okay, Dolphin <laughs> Planner. But I am glad you guys are keeping up with me. All right. Now, the, the grandpa didn't sell. Oh, yeah. And the last thing, I think, I only see a couple more. The grandpa, you're so special. Grandpa, you're very special. Is, uh, I had 10 on it. Let's, it's getting too close to Father's Day. Let's go seven, seven dollars. Seven dollars it is. I'll tell you what. Is Thank you, Nathan. I'm going to have to start uh, giving uh, expounding on the uh, on my channel. Uh, guys, probably one of the biggest reasons why that channel hasn't taken off is for for two years I have Can been you hang on a minute? attending school. Uh, if anybody would is interested in this, just name me a price. Because after Father's Day, what am I going to do with it? I could give it to my brother Rocky, but he has hair. Yes, he has a channel called Soup and Such. Soup and Such. But he made it up and then he never really did anything with it. As of yet. As of yet. 
I don't know. Maybe we'll do some stuff on his channel someday just for the heck of it. So no one would like the... Uh, Grandpa. The ball guy? Well, then maybe I'll give it to my brother. Where would he put it? In his stuff. Yeah. I did notice that the cup I gave him, he had in his dish strainer. Um, you know, guys, I think that's really about it. So, I thank you guys. June, you, how about the June Inesco bell? I just showed this one recently. Uh, I still have the June and Nesco Bell. The pre it's a Precious Moments. And it's only $5. It's a beautiful, beautiful Precious Moments Bell. All right. We have one more thing if you want to get into that. And that is the cordial glasses. I might need them. I might need them tonight. <clears throat> All right. Oh. All right. I have the cordial glasses. I had 12 on it. I'll do it for 10. $10. Or as D would say, $10. dollars. $10. Uh, Nathan, not yet. I haven't heard from anybody in the family. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the invoices. I'm going to get them out this, hopefully by tomorrow. And uh, Monday, I'm going to go to the Goodwill because it's 50% off. Sunday, I'm going to church. Other than that, that's the only plans. I haven't heard about any cookouts or anything yet. Might run over to our old campground and see if I can get some food off of somebody there. You never know. All right, guys. It has been a blast as usual. Yes, it has. There's been a lot of good joking going on here, which was good. You know and what? I would, uh, before you get into that, I'd like to wish the guys, all of you, a wonderful weekend. And, yes. And, uh... Remember to salute our veterans and be thoughtful. Thank you, Jeannie. I appreciate that. Yes, everybody have a great Memorial Weekend. Remember our veterans. Well, ours is not only open, but it's 50% off for those of us that are members. Uh, that's all right, Nathan. People, you know, we got things to do. And um, you guys are always fun. I love having so many of you. You're fun. You're jokey. You say funny things. And we yeah. all like to laugh at Ron. For of that, course. I love you guys so much. You know what? It, it's my job to make people laugh. You have a great weekend, too. God bless you guys. God bless. And God bless our all the guys that have served in the military and that gave their lives for so much. All right. Love you guys. Everybody be safe. Eat a hot dog for me. Thank you. I would appreciate it. Not bad. 72%.